Okay, so here we have some suggestions from someone who I stumbled across on Facebook on the Isheen Trash Can Facebook group. His name is Albert Cabre Juan. Hope I pronounced that correctly. He's written some instructions which are similar to like a mockingbird sort of setup and given justification as to why he believes these are correct. I haven't tried any of these out yet, but I'm going to go through setting them up on Betaflight right now. So this first one, totally agree. That was one of the first things I thought was when you go to zero throttle, the drone hovers way too much. So decreasing the digital idle, that will make it drop so the motors will actually be running slowly when you're at zero throttle. Excellent. Should have done that myself immediately, really. The second one, not really applicable. I'm either going to be flying outside or in a very large warehouse-style venue. Uh, same again with the third one, but if, if you're wanting to use these, if you're flying it inside a normal-sized house, then, yeah, they'd be perfect. Uh, feed forward... That's just going to make the quad more responsive when you say do, it will. Um, and then this bottom one, anti-gravity, everyone's sort of puts that on anyway. VBAT PID gain. I'm not sure if these are already supposed to be on with Beta Flight 4, uh, just standard. And um, as well, 2K, 8K? Can we not go 8K, 8K? I've done that already, 8K, 8K, works perfectly fine. And finally, I have no idea here, filtering, it's going to remove some filters, I'm just going to give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? <coughs> fire, fire. Okay, so we are going to plug the quad in, which is over here, next to all this mess. Let's get rid of the full screen off there. We're already into beta flight, so looking on configuration, this is the uh, the 2.5 that he was talking about, so we can insert into there, 2.5. Um, like I say, I've already set it to 8K, 8K. We've already got 180 degrees arm in. And here's where we can enable anti-gravity. So... We'll save that. You can also just type in the uh, CLI commands, but I like using the GUI. Feels good. Just going to adjust that. I felt like 2.9 was a little bit too low. So we'll save that. The, um, the scale on the current meter isn't fantastic, but it, it did the trick. It's better than nothing. Um, so next we've got feedback compensation and also is up to the feed forwards to 100. Uh, all these rates and pids are stock and I thought that it flew very well so I'm going to leave all of that well alone and then this is the bit I ah, don't touch this stuff who knows what's going on here I have no idea, so um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that alone. So we've saved it, we've got our feed forwards now, we've got this stuff set correctly. Um, so the final thing to do was to... Right, so we're not bothering with that, I did that on the front page, we did those. I'm not sure about that. So we will do that one. So we'll copy that into CLI. Paste. Don't forget to type save. Pods rebooted. Let's have a look through what we've actually done. So yeah, we've done that. Got those set correctly. Everything here set correctly now. 
Not sure about sticking dynamic filters on. Maybe someone can tell me what I'm supposed to do with that one. In here. We've not done those yet, but we will do those. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that, that other line was that I typed in. Um, and then finally we have the last two, which is setting the filters. So we'll type those into CLI again, and then we'll go back and we'll see what that's actually done. Save, reboots, love F4 board, it's so fast, it was so slow before. And then, okay, so that is disabled low pass filter 2, and it's left everything else well alone, which sounds about right. Set dynamic filter high. Not sure exactly where you can view that on here. Right, that'll about do it.